Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about uh, Winter 22 updates and uh, the only updates that we will talk about are related to Flow Builder. The Flow Builder is uh, very important these days because Salesforce has announced that uh, Process Builder and Workflow Rule will be deprecated in uh, 2023. That, that announcement they have made in uh, Reinforced. So uh, before we go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel uh, because I have seen that people are watching without subscribing it. So please do that and let's quickly start. So the very first update is that from uh, after 2022, what we are going to do is we are going to have the sub flow component inside a uh, record trigger flow. So now how we, uh, what we can do is earlier whatever the code or whatever the logic we wanted to have we had to put inside a single record trigger flow now what option we have is we have uh, the second uh, like we can use sub flows for example we are having uh, a record trigger flow on account whenever an account is inserted we wanted to create an opportunity we wanted to create a contact we wanted to create some sort of task and uh, suppose that cases as well so now what we can do is we can have a contact, we can have a record trigger flow on account. Then we can call a subflow for uh, opportunity. Then we can call subflow for account, uh, subflow for contact cases for single, uh, like for every separate operation. We can call the subflows. I'm also going to record the videos for every single feature uh, in the coming videos, so you don't need to worry about that. I will show you this one. So, to so the demo I'm using a pre-release org because winter 22 is, is still not there in developer environments that is there in sandbox but that is not there in developer environment but if you are watching this videos uh, after I think October 8 or uh, after that then uh, you might get those winter 22 release there in your developer org as well if you are watching uh, immediate then you will get this uh, this link in under the description of the video which is saying that uh, you can sign up for winter 22 pre-release uh, pre org and then this org will work for every single release you don't need to sign up for every single new release okay now to do that what we will do is we'll just go ahead and uh, search for flows and uh, we are talking about record trigger flow so we will see what option we have there there are a couple of more updates that we will talk about so uh, from this flow this screen you just need to click on new flow you will be here on this screen so we are talking about record trigger flow so just go ahead and select that and you can select any layout what you want i'm going to select auto layout and here we won't do anything we will just see right we will just uh, we'll talk about this later on so let's quickly select what object we have is so we have got this account and then click on done and then if you click on this plus icon you will see there is an action under the interaction you see we have got this subflow right and under this subflow we can select auto launch flows the flows which are not uh, triggered flows which are auto launch flows like account flow with chatter message if i select this and this is basically the flow that we have and then we can click on done so that is how we do call the subflows on the other hand i have also opened my old environment basically not old the actual developer environment so if I, we go there under this record trigger you see there is no subflow right because this is this is the org which is not updated with the winter 22 updates so that is the update number one we have got subflows for record trigger flow the update number two that we have got is record trigger start element new changes okay so uh, what changes are there now let's quickly go there so in the flow builder if you click on this start and click on edit so you will see that every single thing is here now on a single screen we can have every single thing right whatever the object is or when we want it to have and then what are the conditions that we have then what are what is the optimization either we are updating the fields for a single uh, record whatever the record we have or we are having some sort of actions related records when we say that action related records that means suppose that Suppose that you have a contact records and then you wanted to calculate or you wanted to get all the opportunities related and then you wanted to calculate the amount and put into the contact custom field. 
that kind of thing is there if you wanted to have asynchronous path asynchronous path means you wanted to run your flow some uh, some whenever the resources are free you can select this as well and if you click on done you will see there are two paths two different paths right so this is the start element change that you have got uh, and the next change that we have got is we have got new rollback element for the screen flows okay so we will see this uh, the new changes that we have got for screen flows now we have got a rollback option so what happens suppose that you are kind of performing some actions there is some error in some set of actions you wanted to roll back from there so for that we have got this new element which is rollback and this is only for screen flows not for record triggered flows okay so if you go there in the flows and then again click on new flow this time instead of selecting screen oh, sorry record triggered flow we will select what screen flow is and then we will talk about uh, that, that rollback options as well we will select a screen flow uh, let's select free from this time you can see here we've got this rollback record as well earlier we don't have if you wanted to compare i can just quickly go ahead open the same screen flow in the older version of uh, the org which is my actual developer environment so you can see here there is no rollback record now suppose that what you wanted to do is here you wanted to have some sort of a uh, create a record right so that create account now if you're creating this and uh, now what you wanted to have is you wanted to have add a fault path so what you can do is say that rollback record okay and we will say that bye bye changes if there is any error what we will do is we'll just go ahead and add this this is not basically the actual one uh, we have to add a fault path so do that okay let's quickly add one screen over here we will say record created so if a record is created if a successful happens we will show a screen if there is any error we will say that okay bye bye changes and from there what you can do is you can again get back to your changes from where you are creating actually this is not the ideal scenario we will talk about this as well in the coming videos but this is the new change that we have got in 2022 the next change that we have got is now we can configure the batch size for the scheduled path in our record triggered flow right so when we talk about batch size like earlier uh, there were a lot rumors around uh, how the batch is, how the flow is uh, basically running in the bulk mode right so what salesforce has given in the winter 22 they came up with an option where you can have a scheduled path and we can uh, put the batch size how many records we wanted to run at a time so to do that if you go to the record triggered flow which is this and then if we say that we have got edit on the scheduled path and then we say that okay we wanted to have a scheduled path and let's say that after 15 minutes whatever the time we have account is created and offset we will say that 15 and then we have got minutes so this is what we have the new thing that we have got as well in minutes after and minutes before we will talk that and then here we can have like size of 200 so that is what that we have now and then you can see here we have got three parts immediate synchronous and some scheduled path okay so that is what our changes number four says the updates number four from winter 22 release then this is the new minutes and after this was this is what we have talked about uh, uh, right so in our uh, flow in the record triggered flow schedule path we have got this minutes after and minutes before earlier we don't had these options now we have got this if you wanted to execute a method after one minute we can definitely do that earlier we had like uh, hours or days before so that kind of thing we already discussed here if you go there in the schedule path and go to the schedule path you said offset are there minutes and before this is again the cool that we have got next thing is that we can relabel the buttons now we can relabel the buttons earlier what we have we have next previous and pause right now what we can have is we can put our own text on the screen flows because screen flows are something which you can have the buttons so if you go to the screen flow so here we've got this screen right this is our screen so if you say that okay for now we have got finish previous and pause if you wanted to say configure footer and then okay uh where, where is that yep configure footer right you see here you click here then you can use a custom label so if you say that custom label for next so we'll say that continue so we've got this continue you can see here this uh, for previous we can say that okay go back and we can have kind of things like that and then we have got pause button you can say that okay uh, just uh, say that resume or pause whatever you wanted to have like it is okay pause 
and then we can also use the custom message for uh, pause button as well so this is the labeling thing that we have got i think this is also cool and what's much need, uh, much needed for the uh, users so to have the appropriate message over for the buttons appropriate label so this is what we have got as a number 6 and then we have got new enhanced like for this is for debugging so we have got all these like uh, all the options now we have got while debugging the record triggered flow so if you go back here under the record triggered flow say that we are going to save and we will say that winter 2 to up, uh, 22 updates save it and if you debug this we will have the options every single options there like uh, whatever the three paths we have right so you see here we have got run immediately a synchronous or whatever the 15 minutes and then we have sync uh, we have we can select the whatever the account record we wanted to have so this is basically the new updates that we have got for our accounts record so that's what we have then we can uh, this is already there this was already there so we can have that so that is how basically this uh, uh, the thing thing is working as a part of our debugging and then there is one last an important element is that we have got outbound message as well earlier like before this winter 22 we were not able to send the outbound messages without uh, like without workflow rules but now we have got this outbound message as well so to do that to see that outbound message you must need to have an axe uh, outbound message for an object where you have created your record triggered flow so for account for example if you go there in the run immediately or say that yeah run immediately after this you need to select action and once you select the action if you have an outbound message you will see this outbound message and this is only going to appear if you have created an outbound message for your account object so this is what we have got like send account to pipe dream this is the outbound message and i click on done and then you can have add a fault path and then here we can have this whatever we want to have just to do the error handling so this is again a very important thing that came and uh, because salesforce has announced the deprecation of workflow rules this has to be happened with the flow builder these are some cool updates that we have got uh, related to the flows on the winter 22 and from now on onwards we will talk about each and every flow updates we will talk about the different different scenarios that we can have so this is it for this video thank you for your time and please do like share subscribe the channel and also ask your friends and colleagues to subscribe the channel thank you